All right. So there is this quote um, by Seneca, which I find very interesting. Let me show you. It's not activity that disturbs people, but false conceptions of things that drive them mad. So this is a very interesting quote because <clears throat> it's not really activities, activity that disturbs people. So when something happens, and of course, yeah, this is the theme for this week and probably even this month. So you're probably seeing a repeated pattern in the quotes um, that I'm talking about. Um, so in this one, it's not activity that disturbs people. So when something happens, it's not the activity itself or that event itself that disturbs people, but the false conception of things that drives them mad, right? So if <clears throat> you get a job, then you think of that job as a piece of good news, right? But if you lose a job, you think of it as a bad event, okay? It's, it's something that is not conducive to your life. And that, that's, that's absolutely right. You get a job, you make money, you live a good life, so on and so forth. You lose a job, then you cannot pay your bills and so on and so forth. But the problem is that when something like that happens, people look at that as the end of the world, right? The human mind has the tendency to, to really look at events as unchanging, right? I mean, this is, we take everything for granted. We think that, for example, we will live forever. Well, not really that we will live forever, but no one gets up uh, in the morning thinking, you know, maybe today is my last day, right? Uh, in fact, there's one quote by, um, I think, Marcus Aurelius, which, which refers to this, and, and he encourages people, you know, when you get up in the morning to, to sort of think about your mortality. And so in the same vein, people don't really, so if, if something happens, if, if you have a cycle of bad luck, right, you are having a bit of hardship, then the mind sort of tries to convince you that this is going to go on forever. They, there is no light at the end of the tunnel. There is, you know, but that's not how reality is. So it's our conception or rather the misconception of things that lead to disturbance in our mind. So it's not, if, if you can recognize that the activity itself or the event itself or, you know, whatever is happening itself is not the issue. It's how you look at it and your perception of that event, your misconception of that event. Another way to look at the same quote uh, from a different perspective is, especially when you take the full quote um, uh, from Seneca uh, into consideration is that you need to plan all the way to the end, right? So having a game plan, having a master plan for life is an important thing. Now that might sound like one of these mumbo jumbo, you know, guru kind of a things, uh, you know, where people talk about having a master plan for life and, you know, plan everything out and, you know, you know everything in advance. Now that's not what I meant. What I mean is having a certain idea of what you want your life to be is very important, right? You need to sit down. And, and by the way, it's not set in stone. It's a, an evolutionary process. It's, it's something that changes and can change every day. You know, you tweak it. Um, as, as you move along your life, things happen. You see successes. You see failures. Um, you know, you have certain conceptions in mind, they're maybe proven wrong, or maybe they're proven right. So as you move along, you need to tweak your master plan. But having a master plan is important. Do you know, how many of us have a, a master plan in, in, in mind? I mean, how many of us have sat down and thought through and said, okay, by 30, I want to be this, or I want to do this, I want to be in this situation in life, okay? It doesn't have to be specific. It's not about being in a particular um, um, job or, or maybe making an X amount of money, not that, but where you want to be in terms of things that really matter in life, things such as 
your your love life, right? Your 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 family relationships, your spiritual life, um, your life as a human being. You know your purpose on this planet, things like that. So it's it's good to sit down and think through all those things. Maybe just put them down in a, in a journal or something, and then of course evaluate them every week, every month maybe, and change and tweak as you see fit. Right. So. Those are the things for today. Seneca, it's not activity that disturbs people, but false conceptions of things that drive them mad. I hope you liked it. See you in the next video.